Okay, Copa, we made it. Here we go. 14 years old. One more adventure in Montana. Good girl. Good girl. Let's go. Let's find him. Here we go. Dogs have been a part of my life since my earliest memories, but Copa was the first real dog I ever truly owned and trained outright myself. I went to the breeder who was just outside of Great Falls, Montana, and sat with the litter for about three hours trying to, trying to make the right choice. And by the end of it, there was this one dog that just kept catching my eye, and, and that was Copa. I was 23 years old when I got Copa. Being at that stage in my life, the responsibility that came with this pup meant the world to me. And then everything becomes focused on how do I do everything possible for this dog to give it everything it needs in life. I, I kind of laugh thinking if Copa were to write an autobiography, what would it look like? When I think about all the different stages I've been through over the course of a 14 year period, there's a lot, I've changed a lot as a person. She's been by my side the entire time from day one as a young guide. She was right there with me, learning the ropes, holding my hand, developing as a professional. And at the same time, on an even bigger scale, she was a family member. When kids entered into our world, which threw, threw everything upside down, she was always there next to our side, making sure she, she stayed close to the little ones. She's seen a lot. She's an old girl. Her, her eyes are starting to gray over with cataracts. When she was 12, I thought she had seen her last hunting season. But then she was back at age 13 and now, going into her, her 14th year, I look into her eyes and she tells me she has one more. She's slowing down, but she keeps convincing me that she can make it to the fall. Dogs are happy no matter what adventure you take them on. But Copa's a Montana girl. It's in her blood. I had to find a way to get her back there for one more adventure. Dogs will make you do crazy things. We had six total days, including drive time. So we packed up the van, we ate on the road, we slept on the road, we got out to Montana as quickly as we could to see if she at 14 years old could find, could find a wild bird. After traveling in the van for 36 straight hours. I honestly thought that first morning was going to be just a, a chance for her to get her feet underneath her. And then 20 minutes into the first hunt, I looked up and there she was, stopped. She had done what I didn't think a 14-year-old dog could do. And then we just spent the next three days enjoying life in her favorite place in the world. Dogs give you everything they have 
throughout their entire life. And they don't expect anything in return. But yet there's this constant desire to make sure you love and support them in a in a way that's full, that's that leaves them content, that leaves them happy. It's been hard watching her grow old. She's been such an important part of my life every step of the way. And to be able to give her this adventure at age 14 in Montana, where it all started, the chance for her to do what she thinks she was born to do was incredibly special. I'll be making the trip with my dogs to Montana next year. Who knows, there could be a 15-year-old Copa out there in the field with me.